many New Yorkers want to do it legally. All right, the state's office of Cannab cannabis management is working to iron out the guidelines. Fox 5's Arthur Chen live in studio with more. And Arthur, that board is actually supposed to meet tomorrow. Uh, Steve, Natasha, it was, and we just learned hours ago that meeting has now been canceled. We're going to explain why in just a minute. But this part of the agenda will still be moving forward next month. There is a saying in business that if you want to save money, you cut out the middleman. And that is exactly what New York State is paving the way for as it prepares to let New Yorkers grow their own marijuana, which would mean never having to pay for cannabis at a store. That is, if you can find a legal one. It's called weed because that's how easily it grows. And now New York State is moving to let New Yorkers grow their own marijuana inside their own homes. The State Cannabis Control Board has begun outlining rules allowing residents to cultivate their own stash. But it would just mean that people don't necessarily have to go through a consumer experience or, or um, you know, something where they're trying to find a dispensary, which has been, you know, quite a challenge as the state has been grappling with multiple lawsuits that have really delayed the rollout. The current draft would let New Yorkers, 21 or older, cultivate up to six mature plants. Those are ones where the buds are visible and six immature plants per home. And residents could keep up to five pounds of flour on hand, significantly more than the current three ounce Ooh. limit for legal possession. Residents are not allowed to sell what they grow. It's going to make a really, really big difference. Alexander Overoff is CEO of The Bud Grower, one of many companies selling kits for people to grow marijuana at home. He says those who grow can save more than 90% off the money they currently spend buying cannabis from retailers. In the state of New York, where you're probably going to be allowed to grow six plants, that means you're going to be able to basic grow to be able to generate around $12,000 worth of yield. As big as the savings are, some New Yorkers will not be allowed to participate, including those who live in NYCHA or government housing, because while the state has legalized marijuana, on the federal level, it is still illegal. And other details need to be hashed out, like rules over the strong aroma of weed that can waft far beyond the walls of one's apartment, and what to do to make sure all of it is out of reach of those who are under 21 years old. Now, the reason why tomorrow's meeting is canceled, OCM says, is so that it can focus on getting more licensed retailers open. It has been a struggle, and the problems they're having with that backlog underscores the difference it'll make for New Yorkers to be able to grow their own. OCM will now advance this issue of growing at home in February. Steve Natasha. Interesting. All right, yeah. thanks, Arthur. We'll